First time watching The Boys Season 2, Episode 2. This one's called Proper Preparation and Planning. All right, before we get into it, though, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing good, too. My name's Afan. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Now then, I couldn't wait to see this episode after seeing the last one. So here I am, back to the boys. Gotta love the boys. It was such a ridiculous, intense, entertaining, over-the-top, funny, sad just incredible episode that I had to see more. So we had Billy Butcher coming back at the end, even though Huey did not want him. But no one is listening to Petit Huey. And uh, him and Starlight are uh, developing their relationship pretty well. He calls her Annie now, which is pretty cute. Stormfront is a new member of the Seven. They're also looking for another member of the Seven, but also the Deep is trying to get back into the seven and he's joined like a church group or whatever and they like frescas what's that all about there is the cia agent person that is giving them the information and her head explodes out of nowhere so there's someone who can explode heads and i'm not talking about the fun kind of explosions of heads anyways there's a bit of a tension amongst the ranks at vaught as well the president or CEO or whatever, the boss, you know, of Vought, uh, Stan Edgar, a.k.a. Gus Fring, had a little face-off with Homelander, who thinks he runs Vought, who thinks he is the most valuable product at Vought. And Stan, very much in Gus-like fashion, takes Homelander's buttocks and puts them where they belong, on a plate. All right? He serves them up real good so yeah i'm just looking uh, forward to more of it butch is back what's gonna happen with becca and starlight and uh, you know there's a lot going on so yeah let's just jump into it without any further ado here we go amazon original graphic violence graphic language definitely is butch Oh, I see. Those are clues about where she is, yellow. Okay. Ranch. Homelander is there. Oh, I feel so bad for Becca. I feel so bad for Becca. The boys, here we go. Hi, welcome to Endless Pasta Week at Tony Cicero's. Wait, look at mine. Tony Cicero's, come on, bruh. Fort Wayne. You've got a bit of paper, something I can write with. Oh, he wrote that. I'm like, who wrote that? Multi-state manhunt. Hmm. William Butcher. That's a you. Ah. Uh. Oh. Run. Why aren't you running? The opposite of the meme. Man, French rap goes hard. The language goes hard, honestly. I go hard when someone's speaking that language. Pause. Who said that? I do not understand. Oh, the boy. There's a boy who's making organic paper stuff. Origami or something. And she knows him. She's unable to tell them who? anything, really. Someone who can help us find a suit, too. Who is the contact? <laughs> what is their actual name? Oh, lovely. Soup terrorist. You know. Love it. No, I won't. I won't love it. I never love it. No, it. <laughs> He left us for dead, and now it's like nothing happened? Uh-oh. He blew up Madeline Stilwell. She was already dead when I blew her up. <laughs> totally. We're just gonna pretend like this is normal? What part of this is normal to begin with? Huey? Like, Petit Huey? I love ya, but... <laughs> well, who else they gonna follow? Petit Huey? <laughs> yeah. That's our reality check right there. Bitch, the no-hitter in game five. Really? Pretty cool, huh? I was like, take it easy. Okay, uh, you'll, uh, you'll get the next one. I was expecting like superpower throws, you know what I mean? You use your powers. What do you mean? That. <laughs> and it's in space. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Who's it gonna fall on? Wow. Feel bad for the poor person whose head that's gonna land on. Math time, buddy. Chapters 12 and 13 in your math. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. It's your favorite. It's my favorite, too. 
We thought it was best that he have as ordinary of a child. We? We. Who's we? Look, I do. That means yes in French. Because my son is the furthest fucking thing on this planet to a normal little boy. How long are you planning on staying? We had a deal. Let's just try and be civil, shall we? Ooh. <laughs> my lung capacity. <laughs> oh, you are a fish. You like fish sticks? <laughs> oh, no. There's no correct or incorrect answer. Ego. Isn't that the dude that brought him here? You can't be honest with yourself. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. <laughs> Hey, hey, frescas. Is that a real brand? Because I want to stay as far away from it as I can. These people, for some reason, don't look good. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess I call it more of a gateway. Wait, are you not going to drink any? Oh, Dee, this is your journey. Who's revving up the girl power in the... Girls get it done. Seven, and she's taking America by storm. From Port... <laughs> By storm, I see what you did there. Break or can we power through the rest? Let's just power through. Turn this way! Okay. Yeah, she wants to get out of here as quickly as she can. Hmm. Explode. <laughs> Wonder Woman isn't feeling it. I know she's Queen Maeve, but come on. Basically Wonder Woman. <laughs> I'm sorry, family emergency. Is everything okay? Maeve, we've never had three women in the seven before. This is a moment. <laughs> I have a family emergency too. <laughs> no more death. Today we say good. Oh, Rainer, for those Susan Rayner. Her soul lives. Rest in peace. Wow. And one day you will. <sighs> Susan with oh my God! That scared the shit out of me. I thought that was that woman that whose her head was like lasered off. You know, Madeline Silwell or something. I thought it was Homelander. I assume you sent the edible arrangement. Deluxe bereavement <laughs> with white chocolate. Rainer would love that. Well, if he had a mouth, she would have loved it. But, you know. In the church next door. I'm gonna... We think Paul killed her for getting too close to something. Getting too close to... I'm not getting back in. And if I were, which I'm not, it sure sh wouldn't be for you. For Raina. You never give a about Susan. You're only here because you're desperate f and you want something. That's true. Hey. Is he tripping? Hey. Is the mushroom? In here, open up. Is his dick talking to him? Oh! Bro, we gotta talk. No, you gotta... He's tripping, right? Or am I tripping? Remember Melissa DeBrow? Oh my god. You finger bang backstage at the VH... Oh, you imagine women will laugh at us, so you humiliate them first. Your own body, so you violate theirs. Shut up! Spitting. Hey! Hey! <gasps> the shrooms are doing the work! You shut us up anymore, Kevin! Hey! Hey! Hmm. man! Right here, brother. <gasps> I know we're talking about acceptance and all that, but that was disgusting. I don't ever want to see. Uh, Seriously, thanks for coming, but you could die from something like this. But I didn't. Can you repeat that, but say strong is the new pretty right at the end? Do girls make better <laughs> heroes? Better heroes. Look. Uh, what kind of dumb questions are these? Points, but why does it matter whether heroes have a or a vag. Exactly. I mean, shouldn't we all just, you know, be competent at our jobs? Yeah. I don't think girls do anything better. I think chicks and dicks are in it together. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, chicks and dicks are in it. Oh, lovely. Thought won't let me have pockets in this thing. You can see every crease in my ass. You can practically see up Starlight's uterus. Yeah. Pockets? <laughs> Yeah. Wow, welcome back. Thanks, thank you. What a surprise indeed. Keep it together. You're on camera. This is crazy. I just met you. Here's what? Pause. They told me you came by my room every day to pray for me. Thank you. Mm, you're so welcome. I, I think that. Wait, she, he, he doesn't remember? 
How does everyone feel about you helping your traitor fucking boyfriend escape? He remembers everything. Or maybe Lovely. Who did you mention that part to? Hmm. Crimson. She agreed. Set a meeting with the colonel. Wow, that was a colonel. All right, cool. Colonel Mallory. Mallory. Yep. You saw her? Oui. He's gonna help us. Off our asses and get you back to your girls. 7.34 Central Ave, Newark. What does that mean? That's the address she got. That's an address. Ain't you twice lucky that I showed up, eh? <laughs> Daddy's home. Oh, lovely. You know what? It's, it looks better now. I mean, yeah. Takes, it always takes a little time, you know, to get used to stuff. Wow. Fucking happening. It's not fucking real. You deserve to be loved, Kevin. But the effects are so good. That does not look fake. Like, it's obviously fake, but it's so real. The noises it makes. Come on. I'm so sorry. I'm the ugly one. No. Yes. On the inside. You just don't see what I see. <laughs> you can't see. Your gills or whatever they were. Fins, I don't know what it's supposed to be. What's it called? <laughs> gills, I think. I don't know. You are so oh, it's singing now. Wow. Okay. To me, you are so beautiful. To me. Not you everything I hope so beautiful. <laughs> me. As weird as this is, I do feel bad for him, you know, because what he feels that is a real feeling, whether that whatever his situation is real is real or not, you know. People aren't always comfortable in themselves, they're not secured, you know what I mean? Everything I need. <laughs> He's slowly accepting himself as he is. That's good. Can you zip it up, though, please? I really like everything that you've been saying about Vought. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> You're like the Vaughtiest Vought in all Vought. <laughs> Ooh, it's the dude who... What's that with Gecko? Hey, yeah. What'd you just put in your boot? What? Nothing. Because it looked like you just put something in your boot. Why don't you tell me what's in my boot? <laughs> you shouldn't be hitting the crystal with your buddies quite so soon. Come on. Let's finish dick tickling these half wits so we can finally do our real job. <laughs> she's, like, she's like the superhero version of Billy Butcher. <laughs> she has no filter. All right. Lovely. Okay, I'll be back in an hour. I'm gonna go have coffee with Miss Bird. Yep. Hmm. Bye. Bye. Oh my goodness, this guy in milk. What? Sniffing pants now? What? I was told I would never have to see him ever again, that he would never know about Ryan or me. That was the deal. He was quite upset that this information was concealed from him. Corbett has made a decision not to antagonize him further. Wow. Because if you don't, I'm going to... Her... And I'm going to... Abuser. ...never find us ever again. I think you both know the best. <sighs> you have to protect us. You have to move us, please. I'm sorry. Where? The dude can go to space and back. Our best guess, he'll get bored and move on. Does he have like hearing and stuff? Like super hearing, like Superman? I, I presume he's like Superman, that's why. What do you do in this situation? The last thing that woman needs is another nose job. Elena, it's time to go. I think I need a nose job, along with another kind of, anyways. And he chatted me up all night. Two days later, there's a fire in his office. They found his head in one room. And his torso in another. What are Lovely. You saying? I don't want him to do that to you. Umlander. 
Homelander? I don't want you to hate me anymore. <clears throat> cool. Thank you. It's crazy you don't have one already, actually. I don't really have anyone to call, though. You could call me. There you have it. Lovely! I never had a dad. Or a mom. Wait, you... You didn't? How's that possible? Sometimes it's hard being superior to every single <laughs> planet. It's, it's isolating. Okay. God. Cool, dude. You should not have to feel that kind of... Odds. ...pain. Because that is what we are, Ryan. Gods? Anything we want and no one can stop us. I don't think that's something you need to tell a child. I love you, son. <laughs> you say it back. He's not gonna. Um, I love you too. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Your turn, Mom. You need to leave. You need to get the fuck out of my house. I, I wouldn't want to make him angry, but at the same time, he does. You've lied to him his whole life. Yeah, that's true. He's like in a prison. It's like a huge prison, but still. It's pretty prison. There it is. Do you think he'll fucking despise you? I think he might understand. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to get bored and move on. Feel free to tell Dr. Park to go fuck himself. So he does have super hearing. Hello. Now he knows. Scheisse! My God. Are you okay? <laughs> Homelander. Home defender. Deep. Like a store that sells their stuff. Hmm. Nice. You seem friendly. Ah. Uh. We. Oui. Shining Light Liberation Army. The ones who kidnapped you. Ah, she knew him. Okay. So they run the store? That's the boy, right? Hmm. Mouse? Oh, he's called Mouse. Her brother. Oh. She was trying to tell me. <laughs> what? What's he doing? Stop! Touch! Clearance. Me go. He, he, he had a clearance sale of his own. He cleared the crap out of all of those uh, things. So he's like, uh, what's that? Professor Dude X, du X, Professor X or whatever? I'm not a sellout. Oh, okay, cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Maybe I think Vought's... What? What's Vought? What if she's a spy? Life isn't actually a PR strategy. You can say what you think. What if she's staged? Who's the greatest superhero of all time? Pippi Longstocking. What? Man, you know what I thought? I thought, who fucking cares? Hmm. Pippi didn't care. There's nothing wrong with that. Fuck this world for confusing nice with good. Bitch, if you want. <laughs> Whatever. Just drop the mask once in a while. Hmm. You can finally breathe. Well... Not everyone's a bitch. Someone sticks a dick in your mouth, bite it off. Pippi Longstocking would bite a D. That's true. Although not everyone's a bitch. So, like, some people are ha happy being nice because that's how they are. Two for one. How are these guys alive? No, no, butcher. No, easy, easy, butcher. The CIA would have locked him up in some black box. Arrest you with me. Oh, come on, don't piss about. We ain't got all night. <laughs> They're not coming. They're staying with them. Waiting for. They're all in this together. Come on, we're a team. That her family is worth more to you than you seeing your own. No. But Kamiko is one of us. One of us. Yep. I'll find another way. I suppose you agree. I love Frenchie and his smile. Jesus. 
Pretty much. Affected you both with a raging case of vagina. Maybe you need a case of vagina. You relax a little. Well, I mean, I mean, because we, I apologize, because we know what happened with him and Becca, you know, so. Becca's alive. There what? it is. I've got to find her, and I need your help to do it. I know what I've done to you, and by rights, you should tell me to fuck off. But still, I'm asking. I know about, I know about nature. Huh. Wow. Come here. Like I said, yeah, everyone is going through so much shit. Like it, this show, like if you really think about it, this show is depressing. Do you know what I mean? Also, I like how they had like the Deeps costumes on discount clearance sale. Because, <laughs> you know, no one likes him anymore. And he's technically not part of the seven anymore either. A monster. Oh, wow. That's a lovely sign for a monster. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cry. Oh man. Like I said, behind all the drama and the action and the disgustingness and the funniness and all of it. There are real issues and it's deep. <laughs> You're not gonna do shit. Why is that? Because you killed your fucking girlfriend. That's what you told Huey, right? That you killed Popclaw? You can't prove anything. Doesn't matter. That's rumors for someone in the limelight. Sad eyes while you did it. Fuck you. Yeah, well. Yeah, see? What goes around comes around. You know, say if. Sports Illustrated found out. Sports <laughs> Illustrated. If you do that, I'll take you down right with me. And then we'll both be dead. I guess we'll both keep each other's secrets then. Fucking try it. I don't give a shit. Oh, she learned a thing from Stormfront. Well played. Saki. That must have felt good. Now that must have felt good. <laughs> America Jinsa. Saving America. スーパーヒーローがバーサのマップたちにスタンダードの元々格好が潰されたのも。シャイニングライトは悪と戦う。この国は全世界の敵だ。抵抗しなきゃ一緒に戦う。ルーミーガットアム。おお、ロブレイ
Billy has now come clean to the team and where he was and what he was doing and what his motives are at the moment. Kimiko, so that's her brother, Mouse. I don't remember his actual name. Did he even say his actual name? I'm not sure. Maybe Mouse is his actual name. Who knows? But yeah, so the boy she was speaking of, she knew him because the boy was her brother. And there's a little bit of a, you know, trouble there as well. The boy is now believing that the army that killed not just their parents, but pretty much the whole village like that they were from are the good guys. And they're they're actually liberating. And the, the a real enemy is this country. Now, again, like I said, behind all the, the, the you know, flashiness, the, the amazing, funny, disgusting, you know, scenes, there's something that is real. Now, that is a very real sentiment, right? Hating an entire country, an entire kind of people as well. People go that far, which is disgusting, honestly. But, you know, people do that. So, you know, and then there's the whole thing with the deep, right? Him hating his own body, not being comfortable with himself, not being secured again. Yeah, it's disgusting and this and that because, I mean, it's fucking gills, you know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> but... The point is still valid, and it's very real. Um, there's the whole thing with Becca, you know, having to not only be so far apart from, you know, everyone really, but also now getting visited by the one person that I, you know, when you go through what she goes through, what we're told she goes through, you'd never want to see and she said it i never want to see him the dude now knows that too about the dr park thing homelander that is so ryan uh her child does not know about him being uh, trapped in this area and being isolated now it is for his own good i suppose i mean is it really though i guess i kind of get it but still like that's so unfair to the child like imagine like homelanders and imagine he finds out but then again homelanders out there and it he found out so like imagine if they hadn't taken all these precautions and security measures you know so and now billy knows about it too and i have feeling billy doesn't feel too because the way he described the child I don't, I don't, I don't know if Billy's too happy to see that. Well, I mean, I get it, but it's still a child, and it is her child, and she clearly loves the child and cares about the child and wants the child to, you know, have some sort of a normal life. Um, they're doing their best. I mean, what they're doing is normal. Let's, you know, not forget that either. But that's their attempt at giving him a normal life is uh interesting they have him sort of trapped so i I'm, I'm not i don't feel too good about that one you know it's kind of a weird one there's stormfront i like her attitude um although i think she, just because she is an asshole um doesn't mean everyone is and i disagree with her a little bit in that sense is that she thinks that people don't want to be nice people are nice because they have to be no uh, pe some people are nice some people are actually nice uh, this is how they are you know now, obviously there are moments that those nice people have when they get angry and they get upset and they get stressed and obviously they're normal humans you know so they go through all those emotions it's normal to go through all those emotions but yeah uh nothing wrong with being nice although her character does come, or personality does come across as a bit attractive because of that sort of rebellion. And I suppose we all do have a little bit of a rebellion in us. But at the same time, I don't know if all of us would be happy if we act on those intrusive thoughts, you know? I don't think we'd be happy at all, actually. Some of those thoughts go dark. Go deep. Uh, speaking of deep, so he's stuck with the church. For, you know, they're trying to get him back to the seven. And it starts with him accepting himself as he is. And that was funny. But it was also very emotional and very sad, you know, in a way. Because the guy was really struggling with himself and with his feelings and how he is. And, you know, he has always been demeaning to towards women. Or, or rather people that, or from what I understood at least people that he thinks 
finds him disgusting or would find him disgusting, which is kind of weird because I find not him, but, you know, that a bit disgusting as well. But I mean, so like I get his fear. His fear is very real and it's tough. It's it's very tough. It's not easy. You know, I think in that sense, you have to be a little bit like Stormfront in the sense that who cares what other people think? I'm not him. So why does it matter that I find it disgusting? shouldn't unfortunately it does for mo for most people and uh that's the part that i do like about stormfront is the not caring part you know i wish i was you know like that too in a way uh, i mean yeah for the most part i don't care but i also do care i suppose you have to care at some point about certain people like your family or people that are close to you you know close friends and stuff like that but random people yeah you shouldn't really care about them. But we do. We do, don't we? We so badly want to conform and, you know, be seen as normal and be accepted. A-Train and a Starlight are... So A-Train remembers everything. He knows everything he now knows about the Compound V as well. And now he knows that Starlight knows about his girlfriend as well. So they're pretty even in terms of, like having info on each other that could really get the other in trouble so i suppose neither will do anything because if either one of them does anything like a train said i'll take you down with me oh, so they'll take so they'll take the other person down with them basically but yeah they still had uh that message of diversity and inclusion and everything and obviously like i said that's a great message obviously but what is it for what are their intentions right what do they hope to achieve do they hope to achieve actual diversity and you know people being more inclusive or are they just trying to make a quick buck i think we know which one it is and that's where you know uh, it gets a bit weird. Like they even played on the fact, like in the last episode, they even played on the fact that, like, um, the translucent guy he died and his funeral was broadcasted, and they were like playing with people's emotions and like selling shirts and something, like marketing actual real pain and trauma and emotions. Like disgusting, really. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It's the world we live in, eh? lovely world it is and the funny thing is you know the people like starlight for instance will take uh, you know this person that doesn't want anything to do with vaught or doesn't want anything to do with this whole thing like she said she wants to be like Stormfront. it's great like like i said i kind of in a way wish that i was more like her too but see she herself like what is she doing to that uh gecko guy well, she's basically, um, you know, blackmailing him and manipulating him and kind of torturing him in a way as well. And then the same thing with A-Train. Obviously, now A-Train is doing that to her as well. But So, like, it, it's a weird world, man. There's a lot going on. There are so many layers to it. Nothing's black and white. Nothing's clear, John. You know I mean, there's so many aspects to each and everything. Like, the whole thing with Billy and Huey as well. Like, I totally get Huey's side. I totally get Billy's side. Uh, but they're clashing, so how can both be right? Well, they can be. They both have points. They both, they both make sense. And then there's the whole clash between, like I said, Kimiko and her brother as well. There's there's one thing for sure though. So they they have made it clear to Billy Butcher that they are not going to kick any of the people out or go against any of the people that are in their team. So you know, that, I think that was an important. Uh, message there that billy needed to really hear because billy does like to go rogue and do his own thing and put people in trouble you know like yeah sure he wants his missus back obviously you know we get that but at the same time at what cost like you want to break this these two people apart so these other two people can get together you know what i mean like it's it's you know but that's the world they live in that's the devastating despicable world that they live in we did not get to see gustavo fring in this one but um i'm sure we will so yeah they've got a plan they they're preparing pretty well preparation and planning they've done and how exactly are they going to move on with it how are they going to use kimiko's brother how's kimiko going to react to finding out the truth which is that her brother is being used as a bargaining chip 
All very interesting questions. Let's get down in the comments and talk about it. Do not mention anything from the future, please. No spoilers. Thank you so much. Like I said earlier, if you want to see the next episode right now, you can. It's available on my Patreon. Also, if you want to see the full and the reaction, like a wash along the complete thing from start to end, that's also on my Patreon link in the description. Thank you so much, every single one of you for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel so you do not miss out any new uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.